everyone, welcome back to Continental Food and Cake TV. If today is your first time here, you are highly, highly welcome. My name is Joy Joy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make tilapia fish and onion sauce. So, so delicious and yummy. If you're interested to learn, please keep watching. If you're new here and you've not subscribed, please do me a favor and hit that button and subscribe. Also, turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos like this, you're not going to miss out. Share with your friends and family and also share my video on your social media. I will really, really appreciate that. Thank you as you do so. Let's start cooking. <laughs> To make the tilapia fish and onion sauce, the first ingredients you're going to need is smoked tilapia fish. But I'm going to show you how to make smoked tilapia fish. And to make smoked tilapia fish, you're going to need fresh or frozen tilapia fish. But you have to wash this. I wash off camera to save time. Next, I'm adding half a teaspoon of chicken seasoning, half a teaspoon of four seasoning pepper corn, Add some salt and mix together until it's well well combined it is very important that you season your fish before putting it in the oven so that when it's in the oven smoking the fish is going to absorb all the seasoning after mixing until it's well combined next step is to line a baking tray or a baking rack with some foil paper then parchment paper Please remember the parchment paper has to be on top. Then place the tilapia fish on top. And after placing on top, next step is to transfer to a preheated oven, 190 degrees Celsius or 374 degrees Fahrenheit for at least one hour, 10 minutes. Depending on how dry you want your tilapia fish to be, if you don't want it to be too dry, you can bake for at least 50 minutes so after one hour 10 minutes this is the final result you need to bake or roast your tilapia fish first before you move to the next step next ingredients you're going to need is onion and for this recipe you have to use the white onion which i have eight large white onion because the white onion has sweet taste it contains sweet taste then next i have scotch bonnet which i'm using a lot but you can adjust this according to your preference then i have bell pepper one red next i'm going to peel the skin of the onion i know everybody know how to peel onion but i'm just going to demonstrate how to peel one then i'm going to peel the rest of camera to save time After peeling all the onions, this is what I got, but please remember to wash your onion. I wash mine off camera to save time. Next step is to cut the onion into long strip. Also, it's very important that you cut your onion into the shape because if you cut the onion too small, small, uh, you won't like it. For this recipe, you have to cut the onion this shape. If you're not a fan of onion, please try and you know, incorporate onion into your diet because onion is very good for the eyes, very, very good for our body. Next step is to cut the bell pepper. I wash off camera to save time. Please remember to wash your bell pepper. I don't want to be showing where I'm washing the bell pepper. It's going to take a lot of time. So please remember to do so. Then I'm going to cut into small, small sizes. For this recipe, you can use green bell pepper. You can use yellow. I just decided to use red. So feel free to adjust to your, you know, to your likeness. Do you get me? And you can even increase the quantity of the bell peppers. You can use two or three. Feel free.
Next is to cut the scotch bonnet or call hot pepper or call atarodo in Nigeria. But please remember you can adjust this according to your preference. If you don't like your food very, very spicy, you can use one, you can use half, you can even leave it out completely. Because I know a lot of people who don't like their food hot. You can leave it out completely, it's not going to take anything out from this recipe or from this sauce. It's still going to taste delicious, but it's not going to be spicy. After cutting, please remember you can use food processor for this. This is what you're going to get. Next step is to start putting everything together. I have my pot in a medium high. To that, I'm adding one tablespoon of coconut oil. Then add light olive oil, just enough to cover the surface of the pot. Using coconut oil and olive oil, these two of them together add a lot of flavor to this sauce. Next, I'm going to add chopped onion and I'm not adding all of it just i divide it into two but one part is bigger than one part yeah it's just like 60 40 so i'm adding 40 percent of the onion and with this one that i added now i'm going to allow it fry until golden brown it takes between 15 minutes depending on the the cooker you're using so this is like 10 minutes after then this is 15 minutes after please remember you don't want to burn your onion and you don't want to walk away from it you have to keep stirring it until you achieve this golden brown it is important that you fry your onion until golden brown to enhance the flavor at this point i'm going to add the remaining onion then mix it together until it's well combined if you've not tried this sauce before my kitchen is smelling amazing as in when you're cooking this your neighbor will want to knock on your door this is one of those food that your neighbor wants to knock on your door because the coconut and the olive oil just smell amazing so now i'm adding the scotch bonnet add some fresh thyme then add the bell peppers please remember to use fresh thyme it just adds a lot of flavor to this sauce next i'm adding curry powder half a teaspoon chicken seasoning one teaspoon Mix half, half a teaspoon. Four seasoning pepper, corn, one teaspoon. Add some ginger. After adding the ginger, I also added some garlic powder. Add some salt and mix it together until it's well, well combined. By the time I added all this seasoning, it was just like amazing. It was just smelling so, so nice. To finish it up, I'm adding the tilapia fish smoked tilapia fish after adding it mix together until it's well well combined what i love about this sauce is that it's so versatile it's just few ingredients there's no tomato here just onion and peppers and a little bit of seasoning and this smell amazing with this sauce you can eat with rice you can eat with plantain you can eat with yam you can eat with your sliced bread you can even eat it on its own next i'm going to cover the pot with the lid and allow to simmer for five minutes so after five minutes it is ready it is so so ready like so so delicious tasty tantalizing smell amazing very easy to put together once your tilapia fish is ready everything just goes really really fast thank you so much for coming back to watch my video to all my subscribers the new the old i love you so much those who have been writing me comment please leave comments i would love to read your comments please do not forget to leave your comment give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you've not subscribed this is continental food and cake tv what are you waiting for hit that button and subscribe share this video with your friends and family in your social media i would really really appreciate that follow me on instagram continentalfood.cake i love you all and i will see you in another one Bye bye